Vintage Night is no stranger among young collectors as well as hardcore ones who are willing to spend thousands of ringgit to even own a Night T-shirt. As we all know, Nike as well as Adidas, Converse and Puma is issuing rare, attractive and sexy designs for their range of clothing and shoes for their fans to own. But for these vintage collectors, they didn't even bother or interested with what is sold in Nike boutiques, despite maybe having crazy sale up to 70% clearance stock or many more promotions. To attract customers, hardcore collectors are not interested in all the promotion and it is not surprising if they ignore them even if they were given free items. The adventure and thrill for them is how to find and get their hands on these vintage items. Sleepless day and night facing the computer to bid on eBay and other websites that offer rare night items from the 70s to 80s. However, rare items are difficult to find. But for the individuals who find and perhaps won the bid, it is like winning a prestigious award. Collectors from Japan came up tops for being able to collect up to 50% of vintage clothing items around the world, whether it's jeans, jackets, or sneakers. So 50% more vintage items are still lingering around the world. It doesn't matter where they are, maybe in old sport shops still selling old stocks or stuffs which were packed in jute sacks to be distributed to poor countries for charities or kept undelivered in the containers where the items are stored until now. This is a mystery to those hardcore collectors. It is possible that rare night goods are still available in Japan that they even produce some reference books for fans of rare night items. American dealers are laughing their way to the banks while counting their money after they sold those rare stuff to the mad collectors. And the many of the collectors are Asians. Okay, guess where are we? Tokyo? No. Shibuya Exhibition Street? No. Nagoya? No. We are in Kota Baru, Kelantan, Malaysia. This exhibition is in a garden in the middle of the city of Kotabaru on September 1st, 2011. It's the result from I and my friend that we have hundreds of pieces of vintage night t-shirts and sneakers. We exhibited them at a shop we rented specifically for this event. The intention is not much to sell, but just to have fun. Satisfaction are very almost impossible to achieve within a collector. You get this and you want that. You get a geisha, you want a night flight. You get a night flight, you want a nightman. Human needs are limitless. There are no ends to human needs. The response was fantastic. Many came to our exhibition that they happened to be a festive holiday and unfortunately, many collectors dare not to get out to fear of traffic congestion. Normally, Kota Baru during the holiday is jam-packed and most roads are congested. Anyway, thanks to the support we received, even tourists who happened to travel to Kota Baru came, they were surprised and impressed that Malaysians collect vintage knives. These hardcore collectors kept a very low profile. Usually, they don't want to be known. For fear of the calls, they will get asking to buy their rare and hot items. We did the exhibition for two days. Initially, it was planned for only one day, but due to the demand from fans and collectors, we opened for two days. Among the items that were asked by fans is Night Geisha T-shirt, Night Cortez leather sneakers made in Taiwan, a first edition version valued at about thousand US dollars. On popular demand, we hope this exhibition will continue at other destinations. We'll have to wait and see. Salute to the collectors who has night vintage rare items. To the Japanese collectors, best wishes in finding and digging more rare vintage night products.